the two families of the Waukesha girls charged in connection with stabbing their classmate 19 times, all to please the fictional character Slenderman. Back in 2014, they were all 12 years old at the time. The victim survived. Anissa Wire and Morgan Geyser are charged as adults with attempted first-degree intentional homicide. It has been revealed in court Geyser has been diagnosed with schizophrenia. The documentary delves into this illness. We reached out to Morgan Geyser's parents. Her mother sent me this statement, quote, more than anything, I hope the documentary hopes and helps bring awareness to understanding schizophrenia and the barbaric practice of charging children as adults. Many people have misconceptions about schizophrenia. Joining us now live on Daybreak is Martina Golan Graves, president of Mental Health America of Wisconsin to help us understand more about what this mental illness is. Thank you so much for waking up with us. So can you tell me, um, you know, let's say that schizophrenia is not very common in children. When and how does the illness show itself? Mm -hmm. So um, schizophrenia symptomology before the age of 12 is very rare. Um, and oftentimes, um, mental illness is very hard to recognize in young children. And so we really hesitate to diagnose a serious mental illness like schizophrenia at an early age. But we do encourage parents and teachers when they recognize um, red flags to seek early intervention with either their, their pediatrician or a mental health provider. And when it does happen, you're an you're in your early adulthood, usually in college? So the onset of schizophrenia is typically seen in middle to late adolescence. And if you think about that time, it's a time of stress and transition. And that can sometimes worsen the symptoms. And then we do see a manifestation of those symptoms. And um, what is schizophrenia? Do you see, hear things? Does it, do you see complete forms of people or what is it? Yep. So. Schizophrenia is a medical condition, I think that's first and foremost, um, and it's oftentimes people who experience symptomology um, ha have difficulty distinguishing from what is real and what is imaginary to them. Okay, and uh, schizophrenia is essentially split, so it's a break from reality. It's a break from reality, and those symptoms could certainly um, be auditory or visual hallucinations, and they definitely vary from person to person, which sometimes makes it challenging to talk about. So you or I could either have auditory and or uh, visual hallucinations, but the themes and the way they manifest themselves and our perceptions of those may be very different. And the biggest thing that we want to emphasize here in our interview is that the majority of people who have this condition, um, they are not violent at all. No. That's an often, um, it's often a misperception um, and a miscommunication. Only about 3% of people who live with a mental illness um, demonstrate any kind of violent tendencies. And so we encourage people to, to seek intervention early um, and to remember that people, even with schizophrenia, could be your neighbor, people that you work with, that this illness and others are, you're able to recover and live a, a full life. And that's the piece that we want people to remember. All right, thank you so much. If you'd like to get a hold of Mental Health America Wisconsin, call the number on your screen. That's 414-276-3122. You can also find them in the link section of tmj4.com. Martina, thank you so much for waking up with us. Thank you. We'll be right back.